So DJ Pro for the Mac is a little different than for the iPad. In order to get to your features, there's what's called expansions. So this one over here will let you control your loops and your cue points. You could toggle between the two or three. You could even edit your beat grid here. The next one is gonna be for your effects. You got instant effects or you could do manual effects. You could do three for each deck. Next is going, next is gonna open up our Neuromix. So now we can control Neuromix. You could press the drop down menu to change how many bands you want the Neuromix to be. The one after that is going to be for our looper and our sampler. And notice when, when you add these, you're going to lose some library space. The library part gets really small. But here we have our sampler and then we could switch over here to our looper. Next is going to be this one. This is called the tools. So if you have it off, you just have the basic features, EQ, volume, BPM, and then our waveforms. But if we open this up, now we have our toolbox so we can access our cue points here also, our loops here and our effects. This is so you could do more than one thing at a time. You could be controlling your effects here then in your cue points here or vice versa. Really cool how they were able to fit so many features into this amazing software.